Do you want to learn how to use a spray sprinkler to attract migrating warblers? Let's watch and find out how. The sprinkler I use is a Gardena spray sprinkler. I like it because it creates a mist. I've had this sprinkler for over 10 years and it still works like a charm. Look for a link in the description for this sprinkler. To use the sprinkler, attach a hose to it, push the spike end into the ground near some tall vegetation, and turn on the hose. If there are birds in the area, they will be attracted to the mist almost immediately. All of the footage of birds in this video have been slowed down to half the original speed to make it a bit easier to watch these fast-moving birds. On September 20th, 2018 in my Topeka, Kansas yard, I noticed small warbler-like birds flying around in the trees. For the past five days, we were having temperatures in the 90s with strong south winds. I decided to set up my small spray sprinkler next to some tall vegetation to see if it would attract the birds for better looks. I was amazed at the number of warblers coming to bathe and drink in the mist. I counted more than 10 at one time in the area of the sprinkler. I believe this is an orange crown warbler based on the fact that it is olive above and below with no eye ring or wing bars. Furthermore, it appears to have a relatively short tail. It may also be a yellow warbler as it does seem to have some yellow below. I'm no warbler expert so please let me know if you come up with a different identification. These two warblers appear more uniform yellow, but I still believe they are orange crowned warblers because of their uniform color. They also have a relatively short tail. What species do you think they are? This warbler is an easy one to identify. It's a male Wilson's warbler. The black cap and yellow body are its signature characteristics. It's always a treat to see one of these as we Kansans only see them during migration. I believe this warbler is a yellow warbler. Yellow warblers are quite variable in color. Some are grayish while others are brownish, but some are bright yellow. Note this bird's brownish back and pale yellow breast with faint streaking. It also has a relatively long tail. Sadly, I wasn't prepared to record all the warblers that visited the sprinkler. I did not get footage of the black-throated green or the northern perulas. Good luck in using this sprinkler to attract warblers to your yard. Hi, it's Jeff with Backyard Birds. If you like this video and want to see more like it, you may want to subscribe to my channel. Just click the red subscribe button below the video. To be notified of new videos, be sure to click the bell widget next to the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on the Backyard Birds channel.